Previously on CPW. <laughs> Tyler! Mother has some crazy plans. She wants Dad to take her back. Well, you waited long enough to come back. You might have waited until you were sober. Sober, I never have any desire to see you. And I have no desire to see you drunk. Told you my coming here was a lousy idea. You accuse Mark of being obsessed, but you're the one. Jordan, he's crazy, and one day he's gonna turn on you just like he did me. The psychopath cooked my dog. <laughs> Brock and I are in love. You're in love with Brock's money. And what is he in love with? Your 3% of Rush Media. If it'll buy me a divorce, Alan's welcome to it. That's your only leverage against him. Don't give that up. I didn't realize my share in Rush Media meant that much to you. To our first date. To the start of an intriguing relationship. Hello? Hi, Carrie, it's me. Oh, God. No, 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 don't hang up. I want to read you something. I'm working on the next chapter of my book. Don't bother. I made sure it'll never get published. Oh, come on. You don't think that's really going to stop me, do you? I'm calling this one The Burning Bed. Oh, and did I mention the main character in my book is a chain smoker? Leave me alone! <laughs> That good, huh? Uh, I don't know if anyone else will like it, but uh, I am having fun. I want you to know I'm going to do everything I can to help you get this book published. Mm. I know agents. I know people at other houses. You've worked too hard to let Carrie ruin it all for you now. Mm. Marshall, when you ask somebody to dance, you don't really like it if they keep looking over your shoulder at somebody else. Brock, believe me, this bid from Alan Rush came out of the blue. He never even asked if I was interested. He just told me he was buying my company. I'm just telling you I'm not interested in the bidding war. Neither am I. I've discussed it with my board, and we set a deadline for final bids. 10 o'clock Friday morning. Sealed offers. One round. That's it. Well, well, if it isn't Marshall Dodd, the most popular man in town. Diana, do you mind? You know, gentlemen, in the right hands, Alan Rush can behave remarkably like silly putty. Diana, if there's anything you can do. Oh, I'm sure there is. And I'm sure there isn't. Marshall, I'll see you on Friday. Brock, come through for me. Yeah. Now. I want to know exactly what's going on between you and Alan Rush. No, be jealous, darling. We're just friends. Oh, come on, Diana. You never had a friend in your life. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that this could work to your advantage, having a spy in the enemy camp? If you only get one more chance to make a bid, don't you want to find out what's behind door number two? Why don't you let me try to help you? Because it is illegal. It could jeopardize the entire deal. Now, once and for all, I want you to stop seeing Alan Rush. You know, you sound just exactly like my daddy when he told me to stop seeing you. Hi. You know, it's really a shame. Tell me about it. Even if we win the bidding war with Rush, we'll be up to our eyeballs in debt. I was talking about Tyler. Yeah, bummer. Poor guy actually has to work for a living. Hi. Oh, come on, Gil. Brock owns this gigantic company, and he's got his son pushing a mail cart. Yeah. 
I get the feeling he's in over his head. You know, you like the guy well enough until he bloodied your nose. Hey, I don't know what it is. I just don't feel like I can trust him. Hi, guys. Hey, what's up? Uh, listen, Gil, about the other day, I... Uh, what can I say? I was outmatched. Well, the truth is, I'm usually not that good. <laughs> it's just, you know, it's a little degrading to ask your father for a job, and this is all he thinks you're good for. I probably yeah. took my frustrations out on you. Anyway, I'm sorry. Forget about it. That was a really nice thing to do. I'm sure you appreciated it. Yeah, thanks. Except what I really should have apologized for was all the time I spend fantasizing on making love to his girlfriend. Think you'd appreciate that? you that where I come from, trespass is a shot on sight. <laughs> Calm down, Sheriff. I ain't looking for no trouble here in Tombstone. Well, yes, you. I asked you to wait in the limo. Now it's going to be very awkward. Don't test me, Diana. Lighten up, will you, Brock? Let the lady get some lunch. <laughs> we seem to be having quite an effect here. If the man's eyes were lasers, we'd be Swiss cheese by now. <laughs> I'm in the best possible mood. I hope we're going someplace special. Anywhere you like. Mm, good, because I have such a craving. Go! Eddie boy, go! Come on! Come on! Go! Oh, come on! Go! Go! Run! Hey, bastard! Run! Go! Run! Oh. <laughs> Again and you'll get the hand with the really painful jewelry. Oh, come on. Enough with this stupid charade. The hell do I want Linda back? I've had it up to here with charities and auctions and anything that involves tea. Well, maybe you've given up, but I haven't. Look, let me ask you something. What are you seeing, Brock? His horses have more personality than he does. Well, I don't expect you to understand this, Alan. But with Brock... A woman understands what it's like to be loved. With you, she understands what it's like to be bought. Just don't expect me to keep playing the beard until your Prince Charming comes around, that's all. You can't stop now. I think it's working. Fine. Then I want something in return. You tell me everything you can find out about Brock's bid for Star Wars. Oh, come on, Alan. Let him have the company. He really wants it. Diana. Think very carefully before you place your bet, because in this race, I wouldn't want you to pick the wrong horse. I did not go through 27 years of backbreaking motherhood to see you wind up doing this. Don't worry, Mother. I've got the situation under control. Have you? Well, maybe there's something I could do to help. Yes, you can keep your nose out of it. <laughs> well, as long as you're down here, we might as well make the best of it. I want to see every letter, fax, delivery, anything at all with the word Starworks on it. Of course, you realize that's considered theft. Tyler, I'll give the right back. What do you need it for? Well, let's just say that knowledge is like jewelry. You can never have too much. Boy, if you ask me, they were made for each other. Linda, she's on my board. She owns 25% of my company. I just don't like the idea of her playing footsie with Alan Rush. So, uh, if it weren't for the stock, you wouldn't care if Diana were dating Alan? Hell no, she's dated half the free world. Why not him? I can think of one way to stop it. What's that? Ask her out yourself. Hey, Mom. 
Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Brock. Hi. I don't believe you've met my son. This is Tyler. Very nice to meet you. I would have introduced myself, but they seem to be lined up three deep at the mail cart. <laughs> well, it's not just a job. It's a rolling wine and cheese party. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Carrie. What's he doing here? I'm sorry. Dad said this was a family dinner, and I wanted Mark to meet my family. I didn't realize that included you. Gary, what's the matter? Listen, it's OK. I'll, I'll go. No, Mark, I, I want you to stay. Well, then I can't. Why? Carrie, of course you can. I'm guessing there's some history here. A little. It's good to see you again. And this is my father, Adam Brock. Sir, I can't tell you how much I've been looking forward to this. Jordan is one of the most incredible people I've ever met in my entire life. And the way she talks about you, I can only hope that my daughter loves me half as much. Just get your hands off Carrie. me. Carrie! He's groping me underneath the table. What are you talking about? No, Mark, you're not going to do this again. You're not going to make me look like I'm the crazy one. He's writing a book and is a blueprint for my torture. He sent me dead rats. He's put cockroaches in my bed. He pretended to microwave my dog. That's not true. I know Mark. If these things even happened, Mark had nothing to do with it. Carrie, why didn't you tell me? Mom, I'm sorry. I should have, but there was just too much going on. No one believes me, so I'm just going to go. OK, I'll come with you. No, Mom, just stay here, all right? It's all right, OK? I don't, I don't, I want to be alone. So, all your dates is exciting? Oh, wow. What a dinner. Yeah, could have been a disaster. <laughs> your father. He's probably already left a message on your answer machine. Jordan, promise me you'll never see that man again. <laughs> Look, I'm the first to admit my dad's a tough sell, but he likes a man who shows grace under pressure. You were great. You really think I passed? Flying colors. Because I meant what I said. You are incredible, and I don't want anything to screw this up. So far, so good. Get it to me! Hey, what are you doing? I have a right to know what's going to happen to me. What's the matter with you? Is this a chapter where I die, Mark? Or do I just escape with third-degree burns all over my body? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Stop lying! Stop! 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 Stop
who has to create drama. Although this one is starting to feel like opera. <laughs> well, it's more than that. I mean, she's becoming totally paranoid. I know. I've been thinking the only way for me to end this is if I leave town. No, Mark. No, no, no. It's not so much Carrie. I can handle Carrie, but uh, it's obviously upsetting you. And I really don't want that. It would upset me more if you left. All I want is for us to have a nice, normal relationship. And let's. And what would make it really nice is if you moved in with me. Are you sure? I, I mean, with all my baggage, I'm not just talking about my one suitcase full of clothes. Carrie Fairchild is not going to rule our lives. So you're not going anywhere. I want you here, right here. No word yet on the bridge loan, but assuming we get it, we can offer 85 a share. 85? Rush is only in at 74. So we bid 80, but if he comes in at 81. All right, look, just tell me one thing. This is all over. Am I going to have enough for a hot dog? <laughs> no problem. As long as you don't want a soda with it. All right. We're in at 85. Good morning. Hey, son. How you doing? Everybody's talking about this Star Wars deal. Pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, if you got a lead lined stomach. <laughs> Listen, son, I hate to give you the bums rush, but Gil and I have some things we need to go over. Anything I can help out with? Sure. You know we can get a half a billion in short-term securities? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just the mail guy. <laughs> so if that's a delivery... Uh, uh, no, 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 no. No, Gil's in charge of that one. Oh, I see. You need an MBA to touch that envelope. Tyler, when the time is right... Yeah. I won't hold my breath. Ah, oh, Tyler. What do you think? Mushroom or seaweed? I could come back later when you're not so busy. You got something? I don't. Gil Chase does. A big fat envelope with the word Star Works written right across it. What's in it? Apparently, I'm too far down the food chain to get a sniff. Whatever it is, Dad wants Gil to guard it with his life. Yes? Yeah. Tell Rachel Dennis to get her butt up here pronto. Right away, Mr. Pronto. Thank you. What can I do for you, Diana? Have you seen this? Hmm? I assume that's a rhetorical question since I am the editor. It is so incredibly ugly. Oh. Well, that's kind of the point. I mean, if you read the piece. I do not want to read the piece. And do you know why? I don't even want to open the magazine. I take one look at this and I say, ah, what is happening in Vanity Fair? Well, I'm sorry that you feel that way. I'm sure I'll like what you replace it with much better. It's too late for that. This goes to print tomorrow. Well, in that case, you have the whole night. Better tell your boyfriend you won't be home for dinner. You're looking muted as ever. We have nothing to say to each other. On the contrary. In fact, I think you might even enjoy hearing this. I spoke to our old friend, Judge Delaney. I told him how eager we were to finalize our divorce. And he said that he would agree to sign off on it as soon as we came to agreement. How about them apples? How nice. Is he willing to wait forever? Don't be so pessimistic. In fact, why don't we sit down with our lawyers tomorrow and talk? I think you might be surprised how quickly we can come to terms. I'm already surprised. I had no idea you were in the least interested. Darling, don't take this the wrong way, but I gotta tell you something. When I look at you now, I have no idea what I was thinking. <laughs> now you know how I felt for years. The Nuggets just got by yeah, who is it? It's Diana Brock. Uh-huh. <clears throat>
Just a moment. Disturbing you? Not at all. I was just uh, catching up on some reading. <laughs> I do like your place. Can I have a tour? Oh, well, if you stand in one spot and crane your neck, you can pretty much see the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well. Mrs. Brock, is there something I can help you with? Yes. Come here. There he is. It's Brock. Oh, Gil, that man is so stubborn. He refuses to take me seriously, and he has no idea what an asset I could be to him. So, well, I thought I'd appeal to you since <laughs> he values your opinion so much. <laughs> I'm not really sure what it is I could say. I think it's high time we got better acquainted, don't you? Uh, excuse me. Hi, hello. Hey, Gil, you got a minute? Brock, you still at the office? Yeah, I was just uh, wondering, can we spin off the interactive games unit? We could, but uh, the market's saturated. We'd never get the price it deserves. Gil, I just can't stand being so far down the hole I can't see the sky. I promise you, it's there. All right, we'll talk again tomorrow. You're leaving? Don't you want to talk about what you wanted me to say to Brock? <laughs> Well, you're a smart boy. You'll think of something, hmm? <laughs> Bye now. Yes. There's a little seafood place about five blocks from here. It has the best gumbo this side of New Orleans. Gumbo? Of course. I don't know if it's as good as the one I used to make. Mm. You tell me. Mm. Mm. I remember when you thought that watching me cook was so sexy, we hardly ever ate before midnight. Mm. <laughs> You're the only man I ever cooked for, Brock. Diana, I don't know what you want. <laughs> oh, yes, you do. You've always known. Diana. <laughs> oh, sugar. There's so many things you have to fight. This isn't one of them. my mind admit it you loved it diana get it through your head i am in love with somebody else now i hope you know what you're doing you're pushing me straight into the arms of alan rush well i thought you knew an open bear trap when you saw one don't reject me now brock you'll live to regret it more than you ever know the only thing i regret is ever being married to you in the first place if you thought I was trouble as your wife, you have no idea what I'm capable of as your enemy. Hey! <laughs> Come on, you know the rules. Nobody leaves home without a kiss goodbye. Where are you going at this ungodly hour? <sighs> I wanted to keep it a surprise. Brock, I'm going to see the lawyer. By the end of today, I may be divorced. How's that? I, I saw Alan yesterday. He seems now he wants it as much as I do. Why a sudden change of heart? I don't know, and I don't care. I just want that man out of my life. I thought you'd be happy. Linda, there's something going on here. I wish you wouldn't be in such a rush to do this. 
I can't believe I'm hearing this. I can't believe you're saying it. First, he makes a bid for Star Wars. He's dating Diana, and now all of a sudden, he wants this divorce, too. Come on, the whole thing smells like four-day-old fish. Are you asking me to stay married to a man I despise so that you can play corporate stratego? Just do me and yourself a favor and think this thing through. You know, every time Alan wants something, it's rotten underneath. Yes, but in this case, I want it, too. And I thought you did. But I guess I was wrong. Darling, I don't have much time. I don't need much. I assume that's what you wanted. Uh. <laughs> OK, I'm curious. What made you decide to back me? Well, let's just say it was a process of elimination. What do you mean the bid is gone? You weren't supposed to let it out of your sight. I, I, I don't know how to say this, so I'll just say it, all right? I think your ex-wife took it. What? When? She was at my apartment last night, and she was going to a lot of trouble to distract me. Oh, well, you don't have to spell that one out for me. I've seen the woman at work. Well, if she's got it, that means Alan Rush has it, too. But why? Why, son, we could spend a lifetime on that one, and all we've got time for is to figure out what we're going to do about it. I want you to get my board together right away. Sir, this probably isn't the time to point this out, but I don't see how Mrs. Brock would have known about the envelope or that I had it, unless your son told her. Dad? Tyler, I ought to fire you where you stand, but I think I owe you one chance to explain yourself. What for? The Star Works bid was stolen, and I think you know by whom. You don't think I... No oh, way. It was Mom, wasn't it? Yeah, you told her where she could find it. Yeah, I guess I did. I, I told her how you wouldn't let me near that envelope, and when I asked if there was anything I could do to help that you just about laughed me out of the room. I should have known she was only listening to the parts that were useful to her. I don't know what to say, Dad, except I'm really sorry, and you have every right to fire me. Well, hold on. Sounds like maybe you just made an honest mistake. You know, I was just frustrated. You know, all I want is to make a real contribution around here. I would like that, too, but it doesn't seem to be working out that way. Well, Dad, if you just give me a chance. I mean, I know I'm not Gil, but I, I promise you, I would have been able to keep an envelope away from Mom. Well, we'll see. Um, maybe there's something. Is this a joke? Why? What's the matter? You get absolutely nothing. And Alan is charging you with abandonment and mental cruelty caused by your adultery with Adam Brock. <sighs> Beverly, I'm sorry for wasting your time. Let's go. Obviously, we'll see you in court. Looking forward to it. Hold it. Hold it. If my wife and I could be alone for a moment, please. Absolutely not. That's a very bad idea. Linda, I really meant what I said yesterday. I want to resolve this. If you could just give me five minutes. Just promise me, no matter what he says or does, you won't sign this agreement. No problem with that. I'm timing this. I'll be back in this room in exactly five minutes. You think I can't fight? But 13 years with you taught me something. 
What's that? It's a letter to you from your son. Sign. You're a monster. Linda, you could have had any man on this planet, anyone. And you chose the one man who could hurt and humiliate me the most. It didn't have anything to do with you. It had everything to do with me. And you know it. Al, please. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. But please, give, give me the letter. Sign. I can't. I wish I had the strength to kill you. Mom, I hate to use Alan as a go-between, but it's the only safe way I know to get a letter to you. I just hope he hasn't used it as a weapon against you, but knowing Alan, I'm sure he has. And for that, I'm truly sorry. I want you to know that I'm fine. I'm sure my being a fugitive is harder on you than it is on me. I know you've hired detectives to find me, but please, I beg you, call them off. This is a choice I've made, and being followed only makes it that much harder. I promise you we'll be together again one day. You'll be walking down the street, and I'll be there right by your side. It's OK, baby. Until then. Know that I'm safe and well and thinking of you always. All my love to you and care. So what do we do now? What can I do? We well, can't just stop looking for him. Carrie, it's what he wants us to do. It's the whole reason for the letter. And I can't bear the thought of making his life even harder than it already is. He said he'd see us again. I have to believe that. First of all, I appreciate everybody getting here so fast. Well, you said it's an emergency. Alan Rush has our Star Wars bid. Okay. So, we're going to have to go higher or pull out. How did Rush get our bid? Diana Brock gave it to him. What? Why, that's absurd. Why would I? Shall I get Gil Chase in here so he can describe that little snake dance you did in his apartment last night? It's a lie. The chair moves that we remove Diana Brock from this board effective immediately. I second. Charles, I haven't even had a chance to defend myself. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I demand a chance to speak. Get her out of here. This is unconstitutional, illegal, and I'll see you all in court. Brock, you do not want to do this. Actually, I've been looking forward to it all day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can't think Tyler was in on it. How does he benefit, huh? He gets to be a player in the game instead of just a water boy. I said it before, I'll say it again. I don't trust the guy. Do you mind if I sit down? Yeah, no problem, we were just leaving. Gil, we just got here. Listen, Gil, you have every right to be pissed at me. One stupid slip of the tongue to my mother, now everyone thinks I'm her partner in crime. You know, the woman uses everyone, even her own kids. You have any idea what that's like? Yeah, okay. Sorry to hear about it. Hey, man, at least let me buy you a drink. So I don't feel like a total creep. I'm set, thanks. Come on, man. After today, we need something real. <laughs> Three tequila shots. Uh, uh, uh. No, not for me. I don't feel like waging war with my intestinal tract. Really? I kind of like the feeling that I'm swallowing fire. It's the truth. Wherever we may find her. I'm gonna have another. You want one? I can handle it. No smas. I'm so glad you're home. 
You're right, it was a nightmare. Just tell me about it. He drew up an agreement. He said I didn't get anything and that I was at fault for the divorce. Oh, well, you couldn't sign a thing like that. You didn't. I had to. He had a letter from Peter. He was going to burn it. So that's it, huh? You got nothing. Stock in his company, everything gone. Rock. Well, I'm sorry, Linda, but you acted like a damn fool. I was so sure you would understand. Come on now, whatever you're thinking, don't do it. I spent 13 years with a man who didn't care about anything but money and power and having enough of both to destroy whoever he wanted. I don't need to spend any more time with another. I should have warned you, tequila and gill don't mix too well. That's it, go again. And that's Papuli. That has plenty of papaya. Plenty of papaya. <laughs> Do you have to teach him these dirty Hawaiian songs? <laughs> oh, oh! Don't worry, he won't remember a thing. Oh. Okay, one last drink and then I really must go. Darling. <laughs> Sleep well. Mm. Thanks for your help. You know, of the two of us, he's better off. <laughs> I didn't see that at all. Well, he's the one who gets to stay here with you. See that face when he wakes up in the morning. And to feel that body next to him all night long. You know that scene in the Terminator where the machines are crushing the bones of the dead bodies? No, but I get the picture. Ow. Ow. Mm. Oh. Where did you get that? What? That. Remember last night? Darling, you're amazing. <laughs> I remember being at the zinc bar and Tyler sitting down, and pretty much everything after that's a blur. But I guess I had fun. Well, I know I did. You understand there's not much I can tell you we don't discuss the ongoing treatment of patients I know that I'm only here because I'm concerned about the safety of my girlfriend um, we moved in together since the incident well I assure you we don't release a patient we think may be a threat of any kind hmm. so I assume Carrie will be here for a while longer mr. Merrill carries me an excellent progress in fact we'll be releasing her tomorrow well if you'll excuse me now I'm about to go into a session well thank you doctor for your time and for all you've done well, believe me, it's Carrie who's done all the hard work. 
Don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll find my way out. Thank you for waiting. Go home. Tell me you're taking your absolute best shot here. <laughs> oh, no, it's not my best. It's better than that. <laughs> I keep hoping maybe Rush won't show up at all. Well, one thing I know, when sharks smell blood, they begin to circle. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Now, well, it looks like everyone's here. Two grooms and the bride. <laughs> I see you brought your best man. Uh, for what it's worth, here is my wedding proposal. I have my board assembled. We'll review the bids and get back to you with our decision as quickly as possible. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> you know what's funny? Here we are, the two of us couldn't be more different, yet we always seem to be attracted to the same things. Same companies, same charities, same wives. What's your point? Oh, just an observation. For instance, do you have a favorite meal? Well, I wouldn't mind seeing you roasted over an open flame. See, it's uncanny. <laughs> Congratulations, Brock. The board has approved your offer. Ah. <laughs> That's great news. Thank you, Alan, for your interest. Ah, not at all. Hope you two will be very happy. Eighty-eight a share. Brock, you blew us away. What about Rush? Did we blow him away? I probably shouldn't tell you this, but he didn't raise his offer at all. I wonder if he even wanted the company to begin with. So that was his plan? To make you pay through the nose? Oh, he's got a plan, all right. And I'm afraid this is just the beginning. Marshal. It's gonna take long? That depends on you. Come here. I just wanted to let you know this is going a lot better than anything I was going to write. You're going to be locked up here until you really are out of your mind. Aren't you going to congratulate me? For what? You lost. On the contrary. I now have Brock exactly where I want him. And where exactly is that? As soon as my financing is in place, I'm announcing my hostile takeover bid for his company, which, thanks to me, is not going to be able to fight now that he's drowning in debt. Oh, Alan, you truly are evil. <laughs> People keep saying that to me lately. But I mean it as a compliment. It's another merger I've been thinking about. I'd like your opinion. Oh? Hmm? <gasps> I know this stone. It's one of the crown jewels of Portugal. Not anymore. You mean, it's mine? No, ah, I'm giving it to my wife. Hopefully that'll be you. Diana? I think you are the woman I've been looking for for a long time. You mean I'm the woman to help you sink Adam Brock? You really do hate him, don't you? Don't you? Okay, Alan, I will marry you. 
We really are the perfect couple. I'm assuming it's all right to kiss you now. Friday on CPW. You're marrying Alan? Not even you would stoop that low. Why not? You did. Darling, why don't you step out of those wet clothes and into a dry martini? You can't marry someone just to get back at Dad. You are so young. Time to find out how the story ends.